Hey, what's up troop? It's Tim with Creative Animal, and today I just want to go over some of my favorite tips and tricks for the DJI Phantom 4. So I know since the holidays just passed, a ton of new drone pilots are out there wondering how to break this thing in and how to get the best footage they possibly can. So for me, I had to learn by trial and error. So hopefully some of my mistakes can help you guys out. Tip number one, be aware of obstacles. I know this one sounds pretty self-explanatory, but it's kind of a three-part tip. Number one, obviously, look out for buildings around you. You don't want to hit anything with the drone. Especially watch out for trees and power lines. Those are the worst. Use obstacles to your advantage. Fly as close to things as you can and make them really big in the foreground of your image. Lastly, with objects, know when to use obstacle avoidance. It's awesome but there's a time and a place for it, especially when you want to get really close to things. Now, the only time that I've ever crashed the drone was when the obstacle avoidance freaked out on me. Um, Stephanie asked me to fly through the woods and the avoidance freaked out. I crashed into some trees. Luckily, I only broke one propeller and the grommet to hold it in, so not that big of a deal, but if you're flying really close to objects and you know that they're there, go ahead and flip the obstacle avoidance off and save yourself some trouble. Tip number two, get a filter. These things make a night and day difference with your footage. Now I'm gonna show something up here on the screen. We're gonna have on the left hand side footage with no filter at all, and on the right hand side footage with a filter. It's kind of like sunglasses for your camera. Pops on, pops off. Tip number three, get the most out of it being a drone. Since you can move it wherever you want to, there's some things that you can do with flying that make your shots immediately better. Number one, like I said, fly close to things. Don't hit them, just fly close. Make your shots a little bit more dynamic. Fly smoothly. The smoother your transitions, the smoother you fly, the better your footage will be. I've seen a lot of guys fly really herky-jerky and move it really rapidly and it's not fun to watch. You wanna make the most of all your axes of motion. You know a shot like this, just staying still, that's cool. Especially if you want to do a time lapse. Going in just a straight line, that can be really cool, especially if you speed it up and do a time lapse. Number three, adding a second plane of motion can also really help. Let's say flying straight forward and going up at the same time. Makes it a little bit more dynamic. But my favorite shots of all are when you apply all three axes of motion. Meaning you go up, forward, and then use your camera roll over here. So you tilt up while you're going forward and up or to the side, let's say. This makes your footage amazingly better. Okay, and the final tip of the video. Um, be safe while you fly. This one sounds pretty self-explanatory, but seriously, be safe while you fly. A couple of quick tips. Number one, get the app Air Map. You can pull it up on the phone here. It is super easy, pull it up. I don't know if you can see it, but if not, I'll put a link in the description below. Anyways, lets you know if you're too close to an airport or a military base, uh, anywhere you're not supposed to fly, it lets you know. The one time that I didn't use it was in downtown Indianapolis. I wanted to get a cool shot of the stadium. However, when I put the drone up, it stopped midair and said, you're not supposed to be flying here, go home. So check the app, guys. Um, and secondly, just because the app says you're okay to be there doesn't mean you should. Don't be an idiot. Now, I learned this one the hard way because one day we were driving through southern Utah and it was absolutely beautiful. The sun was going down behind the mountains and I figured I had to pull over right now to get the shot. So I pulled the car off on the side of the interstate. And the next thing I know, I'm flying and a cop pulls up behind me. Long story short, he said, any idea how dangerous this is right now? I of course said no, he said, man, we've lost state troopers just like this. So don't be an idiot, pull off in a safe spot, make sure you're safe, because I know you're paying attention up there, pay attention to what's going on, on the ground too. So those are all my tips for newbie droners out there. If this helped at all, let me know in the comments below. And 
trust me, this drone will be getting plenty of action on the Creative Animals 50 City Tour in 2017. So please find us on creativeanimal.org and follow us along in the journey. So, till next time guys, see you later.